shall receive power. March 15. Contentment. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, wherewith to be content. God has his faithful witnesses who are not attempting to do that which Christ has pronounced impossible, that is, seeking to serve God and mammon at the same time. They are burning and shining lights amid the moral darkness of the world and amid the gross darkness that covers the people like the pall of death. The members of the Church of Christ are individually to be controlled by the Holy Spirit in order that they may not have a changeable, fluctuating experience. They are to be rooted and grounded in the truth. When the joy of the saving power of Christ's righteousness is rightly understood by experimental knowledge, there will be vital interest in the church. There will be those who will teach transgressors God's ways, and sinners will be converted to the truth as it is in Jesus. It is the professors of religion that need converting, for Satan has brought his deceptions to bear upon their souls. The soul that is brought into personal contact with Christ becomes a holy temple unto the Lord, for Jesus is made unto the believer wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. He who has fully surrendered to God has a consciousness of Christ's saving presence. He is a possessor of spiritual patience and has the rest of soul that comes from learning of him who is meek and lowly of heart. Trusting in Jesus to be his efficiency and righteousness, his soul is filled with a pleasant contentment. What is the joy of the Christian? It is the result of the consciousness of the presence of Christ. What is the love of the Christian? It is the reflection of the love of Christ. It is the effect of the operation of the Holy Spirit. Looking to the cross of Calvary, we see Jesus dying for the sins of the world in order that by his death, life and immortality might be brought to light in behalf of the contrite soul. Jesus is all in all, and without him we can do nothing. Without Christ, spiritual life would be impossible.